Right, what do we got here? Only two of you! Ha ha ha! It's longsword time, baby! Come on, dump your skills on me, let's go. Oh, we got a pike with us too. Mr. Pike, wait till they dump their skills on me, friend. Wait till they dump their skills on me. No, now they're going to have to try and get behind him and uh, now retreat. Go! They've given you the space, run! Monks are here. <laughs> We're all good now. There's only three of you and some mamillos. Monks don't care about mamillos, trust. They don't care about getting hit by heroes, particularly mauls. But this is enough. Just me and my mamillo, uh, my hit monks is actually fine. Watch this. Look at this. I'm just going to walk around the circle. There's only four heroes attacking me, and that's just not enough. Not these particular kinds of heroes. If they had something that, that grabbed me, um, uh, you know, like a chain dart, that might actually be enough just to pin me down long enough for them to dump on me. But my monks, they're just continually whirlwinding. We've got, finally, some of our, uh, our teammates have made it back. Um, it would be nice if they brought the unit with them. See, I'm just sort of, oh, catch him, catch him, get him! That'll earn you. Four, enter, one, leaves. <laughs> Boy, I still have more than half of my monks left. And I didn't die. Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to Eric Toll Siege. Check it, check it out, man. So this map's pretty new. Um, I don't know lots about this map yet, but we're going to give it a go anyway. I've played it a few times, of course, but uh, let's see how we go. So we're going to take care of our mamillos, and we're going to use those to assault the walls. Obviously, we're going to take the Matella Lori and use them to push the siege engines. Once we're on top of the walls, um, there's a protected spot you can use archers that have a nice high arc to actually shoot onto the A point. We'll give that a crack. Um, and then we're going to use the monks to try and... Uh, help with the final push and really smash up those infantry blocks that are all clumped up. So, that's the plan. Let's get on now and get with it. Check it, ch check it out. And here we are with our beautiful loading in animation. One of the oddities about this map is that it has a couple of uh, very high-powered scorpions up on top of the wall that must be immediately destroyed. So, if you find yourself, oh, I hate this. That particular spawn, you can't you can't claim any of the things because of the way that the terrain is between you and your zoom. If you're listening, Conqueror's Blade developers, please, for goodness sake, if there's anything between the camera and the player, don't render it. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. This is the problem that we've got. It's, it's one hit kill. One hit kill on, on peasants with those, um, those Scorpios up there. We've got one of them down. And that one should follow quickly. So once we've got the um, the towers in and the uh, gate broken down, what the? Has somebody shaved a couple of monkeys, put dark sunglasses on them so they can't see, and then told them to shoot the cannons? My goodness. It's still going, look. Your unit is retreating. <laughs> oh, finally they got it. All right, the blind shaved monkeys, I suppose they had to hit it sometime, didn't they? <laughs> oh, God. The, the oddity about that too is that culverins are, are much, much more accurate than actual cannons, and it should only take you one miss to sort of adjust on, unless the, the target is far, far away. So that was a uh, very interesting turn of events that cost us our poor Matella Lori. However, we don't know. There might be people standing behind the skate. There usually is. And if that's the case, they're going to have a hell of a surprise when we ambush them with the billows who are pushing the siege ram. Because that makes perfect sense, right? I mean, it kind of does now that there's no artillery left. No oh, shoot, my friends. My friends no like the shoot. Stop it. Right, once this is down, we'll probably take the left-hand tower. I like to, um, well, I'll show you when we're up there if I can. So let's go. Ha ha ha, they are waiting behind us. Oh, you fools. You don't chase the mamillos. What are you thinking? Thank you for the free unit. Thank you for your life. You're going to get caught in there too. Oh, I stole my kill. Red asses. <laughs> How mean of me. Right, let's go. So there, that was a very poor decision by him to um, to charge with the mamillos. It was also a poor decision by me to trigger my alt. Did you see why? 
um, I, uh, all the mamillos hit the unit and when they went to do their giant shield bash I'd already knocked them away and down. Alright, anyway, um, here's the thing, you don't fight around corners. You see where our friendly mamillos are going? That's where we're going too. Perfect, yes, perfect. Because you don't fight around corners, you fight in straight lines wherever possible, it's a positional advantage to, um, to, for, to the enemy to fight around corners. Now we'll instantly kill them all, we'll hit the uh, CC immunity so that the uh, glaive can't flying reaper us, and then we'll kill him too. Then we'll push through, we'll kill the longsword, and then we're, we're in, just like that, just as if we had a key to the castle. Um, I've got defensive line mamillos, so we've got a little bit of a cooldown on the chargey charge, and that's fine, because when we do, we're going to follow in these other mamillos, and we're going to completely wipe these two units. Mamillos wipe stalwarts, there is a lesson for you. They also wipe um, fortabrachios, if you can get a positional advantage of them, or some sort of advantage, like uh, your friendly unit being in there. Oh look, more friends! Hi friends! Two, one... Go! Delicious, delicious stalwarts. Mm, mm, mm. Tasty delicious. Don't you love that extra second charge that this unit totally didn't need before it got buffed? <laughs> Boy. Alright, again, we've got defensive mamillo, so we've got a little bit of a wait time. In the meantime, of course, we can buff our friends. Now, really, idealistically, on this map, you actually want to attack the supply point on the right-hand side of the map, and that prevents massive amounts of javelins and healing. Um, archers to restock, gunners to restock, that sort of thing. See these cavalry, they came around the back? There's another one around there too, but they get bogged down on heavy infantry, the purple cavalry, so they're not that much of a threat from a rear charge when you have a massive infantry block. Look at all the healing too, we're going to have a great support score. See all the javelins and, and, and ranged over there? That is a hallmark of this map. See all the, oh man, Imperial Javelins hurt. We're going to get another volley in a second too. Um, it's either die here or die charging. So, see this palace guard? By the time we get there, they should have run out of. Um... Oh my goodness. I was too busy focusing on the, uh, <laughs> the javelins. Let's see if we can knock down this glaive. On your face, boy. Finish him off. Ow. Ow. Mimolos. Ow. I'm trapped. I'm stuck. There are too many enemies. Oh no. Save me. Oh. <sighs> Alright, <laughs> that went okay really, well, let's go respawn. Alrighty, so here we go with our Prefecture Archers, or Prefectures if you prefer. And I'm going to show you this lovely little spot that I like to use up on top here. It's no good for longbows or any other really terrible bows because they don't have the arc for it. But uh, actually, oh, longbows might be able to. Actually, this is a kind of a poor decision, but I want to give it a go anyway. Just to sort of, well, to, to put the scares in them, let's see what happens. Oh, that was terrible timing. We're going to kill some of those javelins though before those um, boys reload. We're going to get out of here because we've got artillery spawning. Uh, that was just bad timing, unfortunately. There's nothing I could do about that. There was no way for me to know that those uh, flamey death balls were coming in. That's fine, we've still got 20 archers, and 20 archers is plenty for what we're going to do here. So the concept here is just like I was telling you about how those javelins keep resupplying from that um, supply point at the back. Uh, we're going to make it a little bit uncomfortable for them to sit on those spots. Gosh, the, the pathfinding is a bit awkward on this map. Now, we don't sit them up here because that makes them a target. We sit them where they are and we watch them shoot over the houses. See the nice big arc there? I think actually probably longbows could do it, but longbows don't have the rate of fire that this unit does. I, I just don't like longbows as a, as, a, as a unit at all. Anyone who's been watching the channel for a while will know. And you see how we're not going to get through those stalwarts, but we are picking off all of the, the ranged and scattered units behind. Anything that's there, like the flamethrower, the you know flame ball throwers, things like that. Now the reason we don't stand up here where I'm standing with the archers is um, because we will die. Simple. Um, the best way to use archers is to use them from a... Oh, look, they turned to try and kill the longsword and now they're going to get severely punished for it. Oh, we're taking the point. You don't put archers where they can shoot directly, where they have line of sight. If you're going to do that, you might as well use muskets or something like that. Um, archers work best when they're shooting over things to keep them safe and to allow them to apply their damage with rather, relative impunity. Try and kick these guys out of the circle so we can capture it. That was a good reaper. Um, this is going to be rather difficult, actually. I think we're going to get pushed off. I do need to send my boys back to supply because they've run out of arch uh, archery arrows, arrow archeries. 
We've run out of pew pew. No more pew pew. Pew sticks are all gone. There we go. A little bit cautious about people jumping on them too. I want to recycle the unit. So, now what? This is quite a good place for the stalwarts. Stalwarts fight all right on stairs. Not too badly. They're not, not pikes. Pikes cannot fight on stairs at all. So if you're trying to fight pikes on stairs, you are doing it wrong. So, let's go back to our spot. Always feels a bit wrong using archers like this because you deprive the team of a frontline hero or, you know, the other things that your hero can do. Babysitting archers is... Uh, it's not great, man, to be perfect on. So look, more prefetch archers. Nah, somebody got the treb in before I did. Nice shot on that first one, too. Now, it might not look like they can reach that far, but they can. However, they will prioritise smaller, uh, closer targets first. Don't know quite what they're shooting at there. Now, I just don't want my archers getting shot, so while this probably won't hit anything, it's going to be a very big disincentive for those archers to come back where they were. Oh, this is perfect. Pew, 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 pew. Machine gun time. Oh, delicious. Three and four thousand hits. Oh, delicious. Prefect archers are... Oh my goodness, what the hell was that? Floating dudes. What a heck, man. All right, still more. <laughs> Those dudes were flying. Um, I can't see anything over there. See how we're just getting shield hits on what we can see? Maybe if I place it at the back, I don't know. We're actually running out of time. You know what, we're gonna push with the archers. That's what I was talking about before, um, how you deprive the, unit, uh, the team of a frontline hero in a unit. Uh, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get them killed, ironically. We're going to see if someone will jump on them and sacrifice their lives for the half a unit of archers with very few arrows left. So we're going to have to go and see if we can place them where someone see. If they can see them now. See this, this pike? Maybe he'll try and jump on them in the middle of the 40s. Ooh, I'm going to have to try and get behind this somehow. Frontally assaulting that is death. Oh, here we go. First customer. Only customer by the looks of it. And somehow, our team completely failed to grab him. Oh no, uh, never mind for him. Bad luck for him, we're actually going to kill his entire unit and he's not going to get away either because I've just given him a minus 30 armour, which is absolutely a terrible thing to have happen to you when you're a longsword trust. So we swap our half a unit of archers for a whole unit of charge pikes and a longsword hero. Um, unfortunately though, we've got less than two minutes left. It doesn't look like this one's going to be a victory. We've got too many people running the wrong units, frankly. It is what it is. Let's go get the monks out. The monks are pretty fun. Um, I did the game before this, actually. I, I might show you a clip of a point hold using the monks who are just insane. Um, yeah, T-Rex is right. No hope. We've got one last chance. Either we make it now or we don't. It depends what the team's got. I can see that the enemy are pushing out the gate. So let's see if we can hold the gate just briefly. Um, it's good, we've got some shields here we might be able to work with. We need the team to reform in quickly, so, ah oh yes, getting trebbed, that's exactly what we needed. Thanks team, I'm really excited about your amazing treb that hit no enemy at all and only a friendly unit. That was an amazing amount of foresight. Some players just don't have any game flow understanding, it's terrible. Cavalry will always do it. Alright, well I hope I do put the uh, the clip of the monks um, before I... Get off me. Get away. Uh, before this match, because they're actually a lot better than what I just displayed there, trying to take on a whole bunch of enemies. Where's a unit I can join? This one here will do. Just try and protect the rear of the unit while it charges in in the last 20 seconds. This was predictable Mr. Glaive here. Let's see if we can chop down this pike can lovely and unfortunately boys and girls this one's not a victory but i think we actually did pretty well the archers did pretty well uh the mamillos did pretty well um unfortunately the monks i just kind of oh, what was my option right run away <laughs> run away in the last 30 seconds of the battle i think not gg boys we got an mvp boy all right 
Well, we did 1.6, we took 1.5. Mamilulunis, the great. Prefect Charges are great. Crescent Monks, unfortunately, were just nothing more than a road bump. We did get like a very large support score, healing in the middle of that large melee. And we were a player down, that didn't help. And a whole bunch of players did very, very little on our team, sadly. Never mind, well done to the enemy team, congratulations. Um, you played a good game, guys. Alright, boys and girls, I hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the battle. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Oh.